In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the, some important library which are generally used for AI and data science models. Here are the some libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-Learn, which is also known as the SKLearn library, Matplotlib, and SciPy. These are the some important libraries which are generally used while building the machine learning and data science models. In this tutorial, we will discuss out all these libraries one by one. And here first is the Pandas library. Pandas is the very important Python library, which is used for data manipulation and data analysis. It is also used for creation of the tables. Whenever we want to create any table, any kind of table, we can use the Pandas library. And for that purpose, we need to import the Pandas library first to create the table. And it is also used for data loading or reading the .cs file. Whenever we want to load the data from any drive or from any folder, so we have to use the Pandas library for loading any data or for reading any .cs file. So Pandas library is also used to extract the specific column from the table. If once the data is loaded or the file is read out with the help of the Pandas library, then we can extract any specific column of that table. And we can also extract the some set of the rows uh, using this Pandas library. The, it is also used to make the different type of plots. Pandas can also be used to display all the records from the table by using the head function. Here we can see the example means this is a table which uh, suppose it has been extracted by using the Pandas library from the .cs file. Now we have the data in the form of the rows and column. So we can extract all the rows, the information of all the rows using th this head function. Whatever the number of rows are there in the table, we can extract all the rows by using this head function. And whenever we, uh, we have the data in the tabular form, we can use the this pd.read underscore csv function to call or to read the data that is available in the tabular form. And here we have to provide the file name with the extension. The extension is .csv as we would be having the file in .csv form. So we need to provide the file name with the extension. Next is the NumPy. NumPy is the Python library which is used for numerical calculation and scientific computations. If you want to perform the mathematical operations then for that purpose we need to use the numpy library it also provides numerous features to work with the high performing arrays that means to work with the multi-dimensional arrays and matrices it can also be used to work with the single dimensional array or multi-dimensional array numpy array is also used with the panda series and data frame objects for all the mathematical calculations like slicing elements and performing vector operations so means uh, before going into detail about other libraries we need to understand the pandas series and data frame objects what is the pandas series and data frame object pandas series is nothing but the single dimensional array and data frame objects are the multi-dimensional array so this numpy array can work with the pandas library while working on the data frame objects. Next is the scikit-learn, sklearn library. sklearn library is free machine learning library that is used with Python. It supports various machine learning algorithms like support vector machine, random forest and k neighbors algorithm. The sklearn library is very important library. It, it works very well with the machine learning models, clustering algorithms, and classification algorithms, as well as compression algorithms. So whenever we want to work with the machine learning models or clustering approaches or any other compression algorithms, we need to import the sklearn library. And it is also used for splitting the data set into train and test samples. Whenever we would like to work with the machine learning models, we need to split the data into train and test models. 
so for that purpose we have to uh, import the SQL library and it is also used to visualize the performance score of different models like accuracy precision and recall so once the data is uh, once the model is trained and we uh, after training the model we want to test the model as we test the model it gives the performance in terms of the precision accuracy or recall or f1 score so um, to have the output in terms of the accuracy precision or score we will we need to import the sql library so this is also used for visualizing the um, for visualizing the performance score of the different models that means we can simply say the sql library will be required when we would want the evaluate the performance of any model machine learning model next comes the matplotlib this matplotlib is the most powerful library in python it is generally used for data visualization it is used to generate the various kind of plots like histogram bar charts scatter plot pie chart box plot and line plot so as you, here we can see it is used to draw the various plots so these plots are used to represent the data in the easiest possible manner next is the scipy scipy provides various high level commands and classes for manipulating and visualizing data so scipy is usual uh, it is useful for data processing and prototyping systems so here we have seen the various libraries which are the very important libraries for the machine learning models or for the data science models and uh, once uh, if we want to implement any kind of model or any kind of algorithm then we need to import all the libraries required libraries first then we can uh, means uh, write down any algorithm for machine learning models or for any data science models